My name is Adam Burdick. I'm the director of the Skagit Valley Corral. When I saw that the Skagit Valley Corral was hiring a few years ago, I was excited because I have a long background, a lot of experience through my brother who's lived in the Skagit Valley for almost 30 years. About 30 years. And so I've known the area. I, I love the area. There's something about coming down I-5 north, heading north on I-5, coming into the valley, it feels like I'm coming home. And I don't really know why that is, because I've never lived here, but it feels that way. And I have always loved working with community musicians. I, I've worked at all different levels, from kids to college to pro to in community. And I keep coming back to community music, because it feels like the community part is at least as important as the music part to me. And what I found with the Sketch and Valley Corral is definitely a community. I have a background with music in more rural areas. I was rural, I grew up very rural in Pisht, out on the Olympic Peninsula. I think I set a high bar every semester for the corral. I want to I want to balance the challenge with the with the affirmation so that people continue to be challenged in a way that pushes them just to where they're really working to grasp something and take it on and own it and not push them past that point. It's a it's a dance. So I'm Eric Jefford. I'm originally from Kalispell, Montana, but I live in Seattle, Washington right now. I'm a student at Cornish College of the Arts, and I work at the Space Needle when I'm not performing. And I think music brings people together and helps them find common ground, and I think also brings about empathy in the emotions that it creates in other people and that is the other most important thing in my life and it's really nice to have that in Skagit Valley Corral. Hey, I'm Patrick Rulat, I live in Bellingham. We're playing percussion, all different types of drums, hand drums, uh, fun to play and the, the choir sounds great. There's so much energy and vibrancy and it's been a lot of fun to put this together with them. space back in the behind stage. Sure. I like the corral because of the family atmosphere and the opportunity to sing and be creative, to harmonize with people. It's a wonderful experience. I always love Adam's programs. Um, he selects such diverse music and makes beautiful choices and has all sorts of different types of sounds and different sonorities. Beautiful music and it's such a joy to sing in McIntyre Hall. I'm really happy to be part of the ensemble. And Go anytime we want to go, is that right? Yeah. Yeah. Paying attention to the director is very important. We get constant reminders that when we're not doing that, we're looking down at our music. And that happens, I think, with most people when we first get the music, until you become a little more comfortable with the words, the notes, uh, then you'll spend more time watching the, the director. But if you hold your music properly up, you can see the director and your music talking about the audience, we are to be keeping our eye on Adam. 
during our when we're singing. He is the director, and we have to follow his director. Because uh, even even directors sometimes change their mood a little bit when they're directing a song. So you need to follow. Thank you. It's a pleasure and an honor to be with you today. First of all, uh, to Adam and the ensemble and the chorale, thank you for a fabulous first half and for reminding us that we can still get this many people in America in the same room and have harmony and peace. <laughs> Beautiful. Thank you. Bravo. Great bunch of people to work with. We're all like a big family. It's a, it's a social group as well as a singing group, and uh, they're great people to work with. So, yeah, Merry Christmas to every one of them. God bless us all. <laughs>